Hello everyone, this is episode 4 of William the Bastard Speaks. It's been a little while since I've done one of these. Um, this is pretty short and to the point. Um, I really want every American uh, participating in the voting system to really, really consider and consider hard um, their choice of a vote. I, I would like to see people not vote for either of the popular candidates presented to us in the media. Um, I encourage you to really consider your decision to vote for one or the other. Uh, they're both sponsored by the same corporate interest. I've repeated this many times in the past and I want you to really strongly reconsider if you think you've made up your mind uh, to vote for one or the other just because um, one or the other seems less threatening or less of a threat to our faltering democracy uh, if one seems more of a threat than the other uh, doesn't me necessarily make it the right choice and what we really need to do is reclaim the political voting system as a nation uh, and, and put the power back in the people's hands before it's too late and uh, if it does come to a point where it is too late, it, it's going to get really ugly, folks. And I, I'm trying to prevent it from getting that way. It really doesn't matter if you're Democrat or Republican, uh, liberal, conservative, um, whatever you might be. Um, <clears throat> where you stand on the issues doesn't give you a definition of either one of those parties. Telling you, uh, I'm coming to you uh, not as a um, independent, or liberal, or conservative. I'm coming to you as a fellow American. And I strongly encourage you to vote someone in that is just totally off the wall. Um, it doesn't matter necessarily if you're voting someone in that doesn't have a chance to win, or if multiple people are voting in. Uh, from different walks of life, that's exactly what we need. We need to really fuck these guys up and just vote random people in, people you may like, friends you have, people online, uh, entertainers even, um, would be uh, preferred than one of these jackasses that they're pushing upon us. I, I, I strongly, and I, I just so strongly encourage you to it really consider not to vote Democrat or Republican. If you're going to receive a Republican ballot or a Democrat ballot, write your candidate in. Who do you like? Who do you think would make a good president out of your circle of friends? Realize this. They do not have to be professional politicians to represent us. In fact, a professional politician has far less chance of representing our interest as a nation, as a people, than somebody you know, somebody you admire, somebody in your own family. Even. It doesn't matter if, or, say, we're actually lucky and this actually happens and people get this message out. It doesn't matter if the person you vote for wins. What matters is they're starting to realize, wow, the Americans are really getting sick of our bullshit. It's not about voting in a certain character. And look at it this way. If you see this as throwing away your vote, don't tell me you haven't wasted your vote before. Really think about that. And uh, God bless America if you believe in a God. And uh, if you don't believe in a God, yeah. Nature bless America.